need some B-roll first. Don't I? folks um, I never thought I'd say this but it's a pretty beautiful evening in Deeside North Wales now, I'm actually here to try and capture a photograph for the Trova photo competition hashtag BVS blue um, you've probably seen it already behind me but that is the Queens Ferry Bridge which I've known since I was a little kid used to come to Queen's Ferry all the time to see my nan this is something of a landmark in this area so this is what I'm going to try and capture so let's give it a go so obviously the theme of this competition is the colour blue uh, whether it be something that is actually blue or just the sort of mood that the bluish tint of a certain scene might put you in whatever really so right here, obviously the bridge itself is nice light blue. Uh, we do have some lovely reflections on the water at the moment. It's not quite perfectly still. There's a slight breeze. Now it's a bit more of a breeze. <laughs> but I'll try and do something with that. First, I'm gonna try and get a bit of a longer shot going down the walkway here there <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to set the timer on my camera get a telephoto lens out give it a whirl yeah, see what come out with right then, the water has gone really nice and smooth again so I'm going to try and reel off a few I think mainly wide angle shots of the bridge. The sun has now set, so we'll be getting into blue hour, which is what I'm really here for. So I really want to see a nice deep blue colour in the background with this lovely light blue jumping out from it. So let's see what we can get. come down the bank a little bit uh, in amongst all this just long grass that's all it is really grass this was a bit trodden down already before I got it I've not gone past the camera and this nice branch was just lying there sort of looking up towards the bridge so I'm gonna try and use that uh, I'm going into portrait mode so I'm using the branch at the bottom as the anchor in the foreground that's going to lead up to the bridge in the background and then if it all goes well I'll try and get something with myself in it as well uh, you can see in the background it is looking fairly blue already but we're not really into blue hour just yet I'm sure I remembered there being more lights on the bridge itself which I don't know they might just not have switched on yet. It would be pretty cool for them to be able to get a few light trails coming through as well. So we'll see. In typical BVS fashion, look at the sky behind me. It is gorgeous. And I've just got flat grey skies. <laughs> Uh, it might turn blue though, so we'll see what happens. So I'm just going to drop in a just a one-stop grad filter, soft grad because I don't have any hard grads, but I would choose soft grad here anyway because of the shape of the bridge. So let's give that a try. Now, 
focus wise that doesn't look too bad um, because it's a six second exposure and it's at f8 as well um, it's a pretty large step of field so I've got all the way from my foreground which is about two foot from my lens to the bridge which is probably don't know about feet but it's probably 30 or so meters away uh, everything looks pretty sharp in focus of epic proportions here. I thought, just looking at my exposures and there's a bit of a beach with shadows and a big bright spot from the lights on the bridge. I just thought I'll get in that light spot on the beach. So I set 20 second timer on the intervalometer to take three eight second, eight second shots. Uh, it's not sand. It's silt. <laughs> as soon as I jumped down, I just went. I am probably can't see from here. I am covered in it. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I might try and get a couple more shots before I pack down. But I'm going to be driving home in my boxes. Um, <laughs> hey, it's what you do to get the shot in it. Mother's not going to be happy. Right, there's actually a few stars coming out now, so I might try and point the camera up a little further. Um, it's still a bit cloudy, but there are a few stars, so I'll see what I can get. Little bit of good news is that my theory of always having a spare change of clothes in the boot of the car paid off. <laughs> so yeah, got a fresh jacket on. I've got actually got my waterproof over trousers on, and I'm not finished just yet. So I've come back to the bridge. I've literally just brought my 50 mil prime lens out, which is nice. 1.8 aperture, pretty sharp, fast lens. But on this body, it is effectively a 75mm lens because I'm on a crop sensor. So, yeah, just go a little wander around, see what I can see. Yeah, let's go. wouldn't have seen that in the video but you might have heard it um, on the DS tree there's I don't know how often it is I'll try and find out and put it down there there's a surge of water every now and then it's almost like a tidal wave that comes right down the river and that just happened <laughs> as I was walking back onto the it's the cycle path along the River D here. Um, so yeah, I'm glad I got my earlier shots in when I did, and the water was nice and calm because it is not calm now. <laughs> now then, with this 50 mil, I'm just doing a couple of tighter compositions. Um, there's two sort of pillars on this bridge. I'm just trying to focus on one of them with the moving water underneath as well. Um, I just took one test shot, it's just a f1.8, 1 1.8 that is, um, ISO 200 just to reduce the exposure a little bit 
Um, it's giving me eight seconds. I think it looked all right, really. Um, still a little bit of, with slightly longer exposures, it's a bit of blue in the sky still. And the clouds makes for some actually fairly interesting shapes and texture. Now then, I've just spotted in the, I don't know if it's under the water or just in the reflection of the water, from one of the lights on the bridge, there's some very solid lines on the surface of the water, which I'll try and show you now. But I'm going to try and incorporate them into the composition somehow. That'll do me for one night. I'll take a few more portrait shots. Um, trying to get myself in the foreground, but it's so dark, you know, it's not really working very well. Um, I've tried using the in-camera flash as well, just like rear flash to give some sort of, I don't know, dynamic to me in the foreground, but I don't. So yeah, I'm gonna get going, get home, have a shower, <laughs> um, I need it, I stink, so yeah, I'll throw a few more shots up in a second, uh, Brendan, I hope you appreciate the efforts I've gone to to get these images, um, yeah, good luck to everyone entering this contest as well, it's a superb opportunity to spend a few days with Brendan and Greg as well. Um, and who wouldn't want to go to Crete? Seriously, if I could afford it, I would have bought a ticket already. But there we are. Um, so yeah, best of luck to everyone. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the images and the my resilience <laughs> in order to get a picture. Um, so yeah, hit subscribe, hit like, leave a comment if you want to. Always happy to chat about my work. And I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ra.